everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nick with the 1994 Candle Co. And I am super excited to be unboxing some new stuff from 1617 today. Um, they did not send this to me. I am not sponsored or affiliated or anything like that. I just, they had a sale a few weeks ago and I saw that they brought back some vessels that I was really excited for um, and there's been some other things that I've really wanted to try out from them and stuff. And so I bought like several different things. And so I'm really excited. We've got some vessels, we've got some other fun surprises. We've got some fragrances. And so, yeah, I'm just really excited. So I'm not gonna keep delaying this. Let's get started on opening this box. <laughs> this is like a massive box. I don't know. I'm not even gonna be able to get it all on camera, but it's huge um so yeah there are several things in here and so i'm really excited about that all right welcome back to another episode where you get to watch me almost unalive myself with scissors how i've made it through like 28 years of life and i still like use scissors in the weirdest way i don't know oh I blame boxes. Boxes everywhere should be easier to open. Should be easier to undo. I'm not gonna be able to hold this up here like this just because it's way too big, but yay box. <laughs> so I'm not really gonna go in any specific order. I'm just gonna be pulling things out of here. It's all covered with styrofoam. So I can't see exactly what I'm pulling out. So it's gonna be a fun surprise for us both. <laughs> So first up, one of the things I'm really excited for is I got some of their natural liquid soap base. Hopefully it will focus there for you. It comes in a plastic bottle. I wasn't really sure. They're pretty, like they use a lot of glass stuff. So I really wasn't sure if this was glass or plastic. Um, it might've said in the product description. I didn't really look though. Um, but I'm super excited to test this out because I have been forever wanting to make foaming hand soap. And so when I saw they put a recipe on their website, for foaming hand soap. I was like, okay, I have to buy it now. <laughs> and I heard that this um, is like a really moisturizing uh, soap base and stuff like that, which I'm excited for because my hands, especially like during the winter months and stuff like that, get super dried out, especially when I like wash my hands and stuff like that. I'm constantly having to put on lotion and stuff because my hands like get super dry and cracked and it's just not a fun time. <laughs> And so I heard that this was like a really moisturizing soap base and it's all natural, which is really nice as well. So um, I just was excited to try it out. I definitely probably will in the future do a video comparing it to like, I've been looking at like Castile soap because I know you can use that for like so many different uses and stuff like that, including foaming hand soaps. And so I uh, have been looking into that or whatever and so I might get another soap base just to compare and contrast and stuff like that and just see which ones I like better and stuff but we'll have to see in the future but either way I'm really excited to try this one out. And then next up along with the hand soap I got some of the um, foaming hand soap dispensers. The lid comes separately or whatever but actually I think sorry I think on the website you buy it all at once but like it comes separated um but this is yeah it fits perfectly in there and everything but this is so that obviously you can make your foaming hand soap and stuff i don't know how this works oh there's directions on the top and i'm still not I twist it i don't want to break it oh i got it <laughs> this is the little foaming hand soap uh, bottles or whatever. I think this holds, I think it said like eight ounces, eight or nine ounces. I can't remember somewhere around there. So I'm really excited about that. These are uh, plastic. They're like, I think they're like PET, like possibly recycled plastic. I can't remember. I could be wrong. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> so I got like five of these. I'm not gonna like pull them all out just because they all look the same so real fast before we get to this next thing it would mean so much to me if you would give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you are interested in other small business or small candle business content 
Next up, I also ordered some of their fragrances. I got a few, uh, just like a few of the little one ounce bottles. So we're gonna open these up and smell them really fast. There's only like three of them, so it shouldn't take very long. I'm gonna butcher probably all of these, so I'm really, I apologize, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, but the first one we have is Grand Do Dome, Dom, Dummy. Grand Dome, I don't know, that sounds fancy. I'm gonna say it like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was really excited to get some of these, so I'm excited to smell them. I'm gonna pull them all out first and then I'll smell them. Oh, this one I can pronounce as Fate Will Have It, which sounds really intriguing and mysterious. I really love some of their, their the names for their fragrances. They're just really, they just sound really cool. And then the last one, the Malevolent Miss Heatherleaf. I think I'm saying that right, yeah. The Malevolent, yes, Miss Heatherleaf. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is a uh, grand, the first one that I couldn't pronounce. Grand Dame, Dummy, something, something like that. <laughs> um. Wow, that is, it's really nice, it's very complex. I can't really figure out what I'm smelling. So, okay, oh, there's notes on here. Bergamot and lavender, Caterini tobacco, probably, maybe, I don't know, I've never heard, I don't know. I'm not a tobacco person, I don't know the names of tobaccos. And balsam fir, which, now that you say it, I can, I feel like I do smell the, the balsam fir a little bit, like not, like it's not the most prevalent, but it's, I can definitely smell that. And I definitely do smell like some lavender in there as well. <sighs> it smells really good. It's like a nice, like peaceful luxury, like like this would be burning in like a really nice, fancy luxury hotel. Yeah, either burning in like a luxury hotel or a luxury like spa or something like that. It just, it smells so good. <laughs> I am usually really back and forth with like really fancy fragrances, like, cause I just, sometimes I'm just like, I wish I was that person who was like fancy and bougie and stuff, but I'm just really not most of the time. And so I, you know, sometimes I'm a little back and forth on them, but this one really, really good. Grand Dome is, is really good. And again, I'm probably butchering that name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next up is the Malevolent Miss Heatherly. I expect this to, I didn't really look at the, I'm gonna look at them now, but I didn't really look at the fragrance notes before. I, like from the name, I expect it to be kind of like green, earthy, something like that. But from these fragrance notes, I no longer expect that. So we're just gonna open it and see. I really like this one. Um, okay. Yeah, I can see, I can see these fragrances now. Like after I, after I smell it, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's what I'm, yeah, picking up on or whatever. So it's jasmine, sweet raspberry, jasmine and sweet raspberry, white geranium, and then spiced cinnamon and teak wood are the notes on this. Um, I don't get a lot of cinnamon. I definitely get some teak wood in there. I definitely smell some jasmine. Um, the raspberry, I don't, I'm not really picking up on that. But yeah, geranium, jasmine, uh, and teak wood are like the main notes. Um, I can maybe smell like a little bit of sweetness back on the back end, and so that might be the raspberry, like a, like a fruity sweetness. This also, like I would not expect those fragrance notes to somehow smell fancy, but they do. Like. Like maybe jasmine and like teak wood or whatever, but like sweet raspberry and like cinnamon and stuff like that, I wouldn't ex exactly expect to smell fancy, but somehow they do. <laughs> and last but probably not least, um, as fate will have it. So this one is cherry, coconut, almond and jasmine and vanilla and tonka, tonka bean. So I am expecting this one to be like sweeter kind of like a gourmand scent. Mm. Yep, I was right. Definitely like a sweet, but not like overly sweet. It's like, 
Why have I, I feel like I've smelled something similar to this before. I definitely get a little bit of cherry, not a ton, but like a little bit. And it smells like, like it's a really nice cherry. I can definitely smell like the vanilla and a little bit of the coconut as well. I'm trying to like remember what this smells like. There's something very specific that I'm like thinking of that I'm like, I've smelled this before, but I don't remember where or what it would have been that I was smelling. You know what? I, this might not be correct, but for some reason I'm thinking, I'm getting vibes of like Hot Topic and uh, what was the other one? Spencer's or whatever, like those really weird stores that like, I don't even think they exist anymore. I don't, I don't know, maybe they do. But they, like, they had so many weird things. Like, they had, like, weird horror movie stuff. And then, and maybe Spencer's is not the right one. I, Hot Topic, I'm pretty sure, was one that I'm thinking of or whatever. But it was, like, they had a lot of weird stuff in those shops or whatever. I remember, like, going in them as a kid. And I was like, what? What is happening here? It was, like, a lot of, like, horror movie stuff. And then also they'd have, like, other just really random things or whatever. But for some reason, that is what, like this, like, like the smell of that store specifically, like that is what I am remembering, I think, from this scent. Which, it's not a bad scent, and I don't mean that in any, like, bad way or whatever. It was a weird store, but, like, the smell, I always remember, like, kind of liking the smell of it or whatever. Like, as you walked past and stuff, it was like, huh, oh, interesting smell. Um, but yeah. Like that is what, for some reason, I'm smelling that in this <laughs> fragrance. So as fate will have it, kind of reminds you, sends you back to your Hot Topic and I think it was Spencer's. I could be totally wrong. It might have been a different name or whatever, but something along those lines or whatever. Um, but yeah, <laughs> just that's what this reminds me of. <laughs> and then last but not least, um, there are some, there's a vessel in here that I'm really excited for. I'm really excited that they brought this back, but I really love that there are no labels or anything on this box. There's like a small little gold sticker here, but you can just remove that. Um, but cause you can reuse these boxes for packaging and stuff. And so I'm really excited about that just because one, it'll save me a little bit on packaging and shipping and stuff. And it also comes with some styrofoam in here to keep it safe and protected and everything. So that's super nice. But I got the new Monaco Ceramic 2.0 uh, vessels. And I am really excited about these. So I had actually gotten some back before um, they, they used to have these or whatever, but the inside here, I actually have one here. The inside was, it actually looks wider than it was before. Yeah, it is quite a bit wider than it was before. Um, so, but this is the before one. It has a candle in there. I need to, I, this was for my mom and I told her I'd refill it and it's been months, haven't refilled it. Sorry, mom. <laughs> But as you can see, the inside of this one, it has like it goes with the shape of the outside and stuff. And so wicking it, I'm not gonna lie, was kind of difficult just because of the weird shapes and stuff it would have. And so I was excited that this one is just circular on the inside. So like it doesn't have all the dips and grooves and stuff that this one has or whatever. And so I think wicking this one will be a little bit easier. And I think this one is a little bit, it's definitely a little bit wider. Oh yeah, for sure. It's definitely wider. Um, as you can see, the old one like literally can slide right in it. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely, here, let me see. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit wider um, than before and stuff. So I'll definitely have to probably re-wick it or whatever. But I got like 10 of these because I think I'm just gonna, maybe for like Christmas or something, they might just turn into Christmas gifts because that's what ends up happening with a lot of my vessels is I get them, I love them, and then for whatever reason, I like never actually like make stuff to sell them in and I'm just like, here, I'm just gonna give it to family or whatever and stuff. So they might become Christmas gifts, I don't know, or I might actually do like finally decide to do like a limited edition, like maybe like for Christmas 
or something, they'll turn into like a, um, like I was thinking it would be fun to do like a limited edition, like they can pick their own scent, but it would come in this candle rather than in my usual uh, candle jars and stuff like that. And so it would be like a really good Christmas gift for someone or something like that who likes fancy candles. <laughs> this one was harder. I remember this one being very hard to wick on the bottom because you can't see it because there's candle wax in there. But the bottom is like very, like it was very thin or whatever. And so it was just really hard to like get all three wicks on the bottom or whatever without like one of them being like somewhat stuck to the side or something like that. And so this one definitely has a wider uh, bottom and stuff. And so it'll be much easier to wick and I'm really excited to try these out. <laughs> but like I said, I think I got like 10 of these, so I'm not gonna undo them all, but you guys get the point. This is what they look like. Um, so if you've been looking at the Monaco ceramic vessels, this is what they look like. I am super thrilled. It's kind of dirty inside, but I, I just need to clean it out. So no big deal. But that's all the stuff I have for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And um, if you guys would like to continue hanging out, you can check out one of these other videos that are about to pop up on the screen and I will see you there.